We have a great song here by the Eagles featuring five different chord shapes. I'm going to go through it step by step, starting with our E major chord. So three chords that you guys hopefully know as open chords would be the A major chord, the E major chord, and then I'm going to give you one more that if you don't know it, it's pretty easy to learn. It's this E sus4 chord, and you create that by going from E major here, and you just put your pinky right below okay you don't even have to lift up your first finger so we had e major and get to e sus4 you just put that pinky down all right and this is going to be featured in the intro and throughout the song so you might just want to practice going back and forth between e e sus4 e e sus4 right so those are the three easy chords for the songs so we have a major e major and this E sus4 chord. So the next two chords are a little trickier, maybe ones you might not be familiar with, uh, probably about like level six in my seven level guitar system. We have a B7 chord, right? Looks and sound like this very twangy sound because of that seven that's in there. And the easiest way to practice getting in and out of this might be from that E chord. All right, so we're gonna, if you have E major, your second finger can act as a pivot point to get the other fingers in place, all right? So if you go back to E major, second finger stays in place, first finger moves up one, second finger comes down a string, and then the pinky, that's gonna be the tricky one, getting that pinky on the bottom string, second fret. So we have three fingers in the second fret, and then one finger on the first fret. So you could practice going from E to B7, but the real chord transition you're gonna have to practice is going from A into B7 but it's good just to get the muscle memory at first using that E major chord going into the B7. And then you would just practice A to B7, A to B7, back and forth as many times as possible. And our last chord is a bar chord and there is an easier option for this. So if you know your A chord, you could always play that A chord on the bottom three strings. It's a very tinny sound to it because we're only playing three notes of a chord. Um, but if you don't know the full bar chord, that will work out great. If you do know the full bar chord or you're working on bar chords, this is a great song to do it to. So there's a couple of transitions into this F sharp minor. The way I would like you to practice to start is from E major. I like moving my third finger up and then sliding down to the fourth fret. Kind of gives me a slide into the chord. So that's a great way to start practicing getting in and out of an F sharp minor bar chord. So I'm gonna give you two strumming patterns. All right, one's a little bit easier, the other is a little bit more syncopated. Now syncopated means we're gonna be missing one of our down strums, but let's start with the easier one and work on our timing first. And if you guys need to follow along with the strumming patterns, you can always go to my website, laurenbateman.com, and follow along there. Now this first strumming pattern is gonna be an eighth note strumming pattern. It's gonna be one, two, and three, and four and. So we have downs on one, two, and four, and then we have up strums on the ands. So let's do an E major chord here, and it's gonna be one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four. works perfectly fine for the entire song. I like the way your sparkling earrings lay. But what I'm going to be using for the rest of this tutorial is the down, down, up, up, down, up pattern. Very, very common strumming pattern, but it's called the syncopated pattern because we are now losing one of our down strums. There's not going to be any down strum on the third beat. Now the trick to this is even though we're not hearing a strum, your hand is still strumming down on that third beat. So it's gonna sound like this. It's gonna be one, two, and three, and four, and. So see, I'm still doing a down strum on the three, just not hitting the string. So it's one, two, and three, and four, and. Or it's called down, down, up, up, down, up, okay? Down. And 
and watch my hand again. On that three, I'm still going down strum. So we got one, two, and three. And four, and one, two, and three. And four, and. Okay, now let's just pick up the timing a little bit. One, two, ready, and. So let's talk about the different parts and we'll do a little bit of a playthrough here for you guys to play through this song. So the intro starts with that E in that E sus4. And you're gonna do one strumming pattern for each chord. So we've got down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. And you can hear those suspended chords, they have this really nice open tone to them. So like if you had like a, a D sus2 or a D sus4, those suspended chords have very, very nice sounds to them. So going from E major to E sus4, just a very slight change in tone, a very slight change in the voicing of the chord, um, but it adds a lot to the song. So that's going to be our intro. We're just going to be going back and forth between E and E sus4 and then we're going to jump into the verses and we're going to just play that same strumming pattern over the verse. There are no bar chords in the verses. It's just going to be the E chord, the A chord, and the B7 chord. And then when we get to the chorus, that's when our F sharp minor chord is going to jump in. So I'm going to do a quick playthrough of the intro, a verse, and a chorus for you. Now if you need to slow me down, just use the settings cog right over there. And if you are a member of my private community, I will make sure to share the unlisted link for the full playthrough so that you guys can practice and play along with me. One, two, intro. E, E sus4. Of the Eagles then I highly recommend you go check out my Eagles song playlist right over there where I show you simple ways to play lots of fun Eagles tunes.